In this video, I'm going to show you the very powerful rules engine that's built into Cartflow's order bumps as well as Cartflow's upsells. What this means is you can offer the right product to the right customer at the right time. So there's conditions that you can choose basically like a product category or if this product is in the checkout, if the buyer's buying this, offer them this order bump or this upsell. Super easy. Let me show you how it works. First, I'm going to create a brand new order bump for the store checkout. So I'm going to go to cart flows and I'll click right here where it says store checkout. Here is my store checkout. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'll choose order bumps right here. Now you can create as many order bumps as you want and choose exactly when they'll be available to your buyers. So I'm going to click where it says add a new order bump and I'll give this a name. I named it honey and it's the honey that you eat. So I'll click on add order bump and here it is honey. The, so I'll click right here where it says honey and let's start configuring and designing this order bump. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the product that I want. In this case, it's you guessed it, honey, a fresh organic honey, just like that. And so it's gonna leave it here at the single quantity and for the discount, I will give a discount percentage and let's take maybe 40% off or something like that. Wonderful. Now I'll click on save settings and let's go to design and you can see already it looks fabulous, the designs, but we have multiple styles to choose from. So I can choose this second style if you want, and they're all just a little bit different. You can choose the style that you prefer. So I think for this, I'm going to go with style two. Yeah, let's do style two. Now, all of this content right here is automatically pulling from the actual product and how you have that product configured inside of WooCommerce. So this includes the image, the price, and this description right here. So in a moment, I'll actually show you how to customize this description. So, all right, next we'll want to choose where we position it. So I'm going to put this after payment and I'm going to use the cart flows, multi-step checkout. So the buyer will only see this when they get to the payment step in the multi-step checkout. Now you can customize the design if you want, the different colors that make this up. You've got all of these various options right here. So let's go ahead and click on save settings. Perfect. Now I'm going to click right here where it says content. So you can override the content here if you want. So all of these bits of text, you can change them here and make them say whatever you want. And in this description, this actually pulls from the short product description. So let me actually show you how that works, because I personally, if you wanted to customize this text and have it say whatever persuasive sales text that you want, you can do that. Or let me show you where it would pull from in the product description. So here's my list of products actually right here. And here's my fresh organic honey. And you can see right here is that product description. But this isn't the product description that we use. It's right here where it says short product description. So let me put some different text in here. This works for me. I'll go ahead and click on update. And now let's go back to our order bump. And I've refreshed the page and you'll notice it pulled in that short description inside of the product. So you don't have to put all this effort into coming up with fresh new words and descriptions. It's automatically going to pull from what you've set inside of your products to make it very easy for you. But of course, you can override what's put in there if you wanted to. So if you wanted this to be shorter, I can highlight this. I can delete it like that. And now it's just a little bit shorter. So far, it looks fine to me. Let's go ahead and click on save settings just like that. Now we get into the rules engine and it's on this tab right here that says conditions. So it says enable conditional order bump. So I'll check this box and then I'll expand this condition option right here. And so we basically just need to say when we should make this available and it could be based upon products in the cart or products in the cart from a certain category or tag or a total amount, maybe over or under a certain amount, whether they're using certain coupons or shipping methods or there's shipping to certain countries. We have all these options right here, but for me, I'm going to do this 
really narrow, I'm going to do it if they have a certain coffee product. So I'll click here and I'll start typing the name of the product. There it is. Assorted coffee. Perfect. And you can add multiple conditions if you want to get more advanced with this. I'll go ahead and click on save settings. So what we've done is we've created this beautiful order bump. It's a great offer. There's a nice discount with it. We didn't have to design anything. It was just a few things we chose and we set it up. So it's only going to show when these conditions are met pretty much if someone's buying the coffee. So now I'm going to click right here where it says back and here are all of my order bumps. I have to turn it on. You can see the status is it's off. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Perfect. Now it's important to note that these same options are available for your upsells. So the way it works is I'm still editing the checkout that people land on when they're purchasing something from my store. We have a tab, a tab right here that says dynamic offers. So I can enable this right here. And I have the same options here. So basically I can choose a condition. I have those same options here. So let's go ahead and expand this right here. And so an upsell, I can redirect a buyer to an upsell based upon a condition. So it's a rule. So let's go ahead. I have this one upsell that I've created. So let's just choose that. And if someone places an order on my store, we're saying send them to this upsell if these conditions are met. So this can be based upon a product they bought or if they purchased in a category, a lot of the same ones, total coupon shipping method, payment method. Um, and we also have some advanced stuff with the custom fields you add to your checkout forms and you can configure these dynamic offers and you have this full rules engine at your disposal to carry out powerful e-commerce sequences. Okay, let's go ahead and test our order bump now. First, I'll add a product to the cart that will not trigger the rule to show that order bump. So here's the one that will show the order bump and here's the one that won't. So let's go ahead and add this product to my cart and let's go straight to the checkout. Here we are. And I'm using the multi-step checkout that comes with cart flows as well. So I chose to show the order bump on the last step where the payments made. So we're not seeing that order bump yet. So first step is to put your info. I'll click on continue. Here's to choose my shipping. I'll choose continue. And guess what? We don't see that order bump for the honey because we're not buying the coffee. But we are seeing the other order bump that I created. You can see that right here. So now let's go and let's add that coffee to the cart and then we'll see what shows. So I still have the cashew butter right here. Here is the coffee. Let's go ahead and add that to the checkout and let's go straight and check out. So here I am again. I'm going to click on continue to shipping and then right here I'm going to click on continue to payment. And guess what? Here is the honey. This was like we configured to only show if this assorted coffee was being purchased. Cartflows allows you to make as many order bumps as you want, and you can display them whenever you want, as well as wherever you want on the checkout. And you saw how quick and easy it is to create an order bump. It's automatically going to pull all the information that you've already configured in a product, the name, it's going to pull in the image. It's going to put in the short description. You really don't have to do anything other than select the product and select who should be able to add that order bump to their checkout and then check out. And you have this same power available to you with upsells. So your one click upsells, what you send someone to after that checkout, it can be also based upon these rules. So you can get as intricate as you want with these options with the Cartflow's rule engine that we have. And our upsells work exactly the same way as the order bumps. You can add a new upsell. It's automatically going to pull in the picture of the product, the description and the name of the product. There isn't much work that you have to do other than creating it, choose the discount and choose who gets to have the opportunity to buy this product at this discount. Cartflows just helps your store sell more. Simply put. Now, if you don't have Cartflows license, just head over to cartflows.com. Grab yourself a license today and you can unleash the power of this rule engine for order bumps and upsells on your WooCommerce site today.